Hello, everyone. My name is Vanessa Lombardo, and I am the Training and Learning Manager here at Bookshare. My primary responsibility is to provide high quality training materials to our users, as well as those that support them. I am very excited today to provide a demo of our new Bookshare Reader for Web and our new Bookshare mobile app. Let's get started. Both the Bookshare Reader for Web and the Bookshare Reader mobile app are free. The Bookshare Reader for Web was launched in the fall of 2022. The Bookshare team took user feedback from our old Bookshare Reader and added new features to this version of our new and improved reading tool. The Bookshare Reader for Web can be accessed on any device that has internet access and is intended to be used in a web browser, such as Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, and the new Microsoft Edge. One point I want to clarify for educators. Educators in Bookshare are called sponsors. A sponsor cannot access current copyrighted materials unless they themselves qualify for Bookshare because they struggle to read standard printed text. Sponsors are able to access freely available books that are out of copyright. Bookshare has a curated list of these books called Free for All. You can find that list by going to www.bookshare.org and searching through the reading lists. This is one way sponsors can experience Bookshare Reader as their students would. To begin using Bookshare Reader for web, I'm going to log in to www.bookshare.org with my sponsor, username and password, which for this demo is Edward Educator. As a sponsor, I can add students to my organization's account, search for books, and assign books to my students. I can click on the left sidebar of the My Bookshare page and select the Members link. This allows me to see my list of students. Next, I'm going to search for a book to assign to my student, Summer Symposium. There are a variety of ways to search for a book, such as typing in a title, author name, or ISBN number into the search bar. I'm going to search for Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing by Judy Bloom. There is a table that comes up and provides me with books that match my search terms. There is a blue assign button in the far right column of the table. This assign button will prompt me to assign this book to one of the students on my organization's account. I am going to assign this book to Summer. Now that the book has been assigned, I will log out of my sponsor account and log in as my student, Summer Symposium, to read this book with the new Bookshare Reader. I am now logged in as the student, Summer Symposium. I see books that have been assigned to me in my Assigned Books tab on the bottom of the screen. I am going to click on the Assigned tab and then on the blue Read Now button on the right side of the screen and the Bookshare Reader will launch. If your students have used the older version of Bookshare Web Reader, they will notice this user interface looks completely different. It has been streamlined and simplified based on user feedback to make the student's reading experience easeful and enjoyable. Let's start with navigating around the book with the Table of Contents feature located at the bottom left side of the footer. The student can click on any chapter to navigate directly to that point in the text. This is convenient so they can quickly get to the place in the book they want or need to start reading. They can also enter a specific page number to jump directly to that page in the text. Next, let's explore the settings feature, which is located at the gear icon on the top right side of the header. The first option you will see is the Quick Settings tab. 
This will allow the student to change a variety of settings quickly and in real time so they can see how the text changes and determine which settings are best for their reading experience. This was a much requested feature and we are happy to provide it to our members. You will see additional tabs at the top of the Quick Settings dialog box, including audio, text, page, and color. Within each of these tabs, students can fine tune these settings. Let's move through each one. In the audio tab, students can change all the audio settings. The Bookshare Reader uses voices that are native to their device, and the drop down menu will give them the voice options available. They can also play a sample to hear what it will sound like and adjust the speed. They can also choose to have the page numbers voiced out loud, as well as any image descriptions in the book. In the Text tab, the student has options to fine tune the text size as well as change the font of the text. They can also choose the amount of space between each letter or character of the words in the text. In the Page tab, they can adjust the display format so that the pages appear side by side or as a long scrolling list. They can adjust the margins and the spacing between each line of the text. Finally, they can choose to have the page numbers displayed or not. Lastly, in the Colors tab, the student can use our preset options or choose to customize exactly which colors they want to use for the background, text, sentence highlighting, and word highlighting. If they would like to revert back to the default settings of the book, they can select the Reset to Default button. Once the student has customized the settings to their preferences, click the X on the top right of the screen and that will bring them back to the text of the book. Let's get into reading the book. First, if the student wants to have the book read to them using text-to-speech, they can select the Play button located at the center of the footer. They can also click anywhere in the text to start reading from that spot. This is another feature our users asked for, the ability to click anywhere in the text and begin reading. They can press the arrow keys on the right or left side of the play button to replay backwards or move forward in the text. The last two new features I want to demonstrate are the location icon and the bookmarks icon, both located at the bottom right side of the footer. The location icon will tell the student exactly where they are in the book. The bookmarks feature was also a much requested feature to be part of the new reader tool because students can easily pick up reading where they left off. When the student reaches a point in the text where they want to add a bookmark, they click the bookmark icon and an orange bookmark will appear in the text. To find their bookmarks, they can select the book navigation menu at the bottom left side of the footer and select bookmarks. This will display all the bookmarks they have in that book and they can click on the one they want to jump right to that point in the text. That is our new Bookshare Reader for Web. Let's move on to exploring the Bookshare Reader mobile app for Apple and Android mobile devices. The mobile app was launched in December of 2022. The app is available in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. One of the great features about the Bookshare Reader tools is that they synchronize your reading place across devices. In other words, if a student starts to read a book in school on a Chromebook or a laptop, and then wants to continue reading at home on a tablet, their reading place will be saved and they can start reading right where they left off. We are going to try this with our book, Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing by Judy Bloom by logging in as our student, Summer. A note to educators or sponsors, you cannot assign books through the app, but students can access their assigned books via the app. 
Additionally, students on an organization account must have books assigned to them to be read. If a student has an individual membership, they can access the books they choose and do not need to wait for you to assign the books to them. Once you launch the app on your device, you will be brought to the login screen where the student can enter their same Bookshare username and password. There is no need to create a separate username and password for the app. Enter the information and select log in. After the student logs in, they are brought to the My Library page, which allows them to search for a book, see a list of their recently read books, see a list of assigned books in the Assigned Books tab, as well as a list of downloaded books and an option to view their profile. When the student selects the book they want to read, the book information page will appear and provide them with a book synopsis and copyright year. They have the option to either download the book for offline reading in the future or select the blue Read Now button to immediately stream the book. If they choose the gray arrow to download the book, the book will show with a downloading status. Once the book is downloaded completely, the download button disappears and they can select the blue Read Now button, which will open the Bookshare Reader. This book is now available for offline viewing. Let's go back to Tales of the Fourth Grade Nothing by Judy Bloom, And as you can see, it picked up right where we left off. You can see that the reader is structured very similarly to Bookshare Reader for Web. They will have access to customized settings to their reading preferences through the gear icon in the top right heading section of the screen. The first settings page is the quick settings for the most used customized features within the Bookshare Reader mobile app. Then each tab across the header will allow them to further customize the audio features, text, page, and color settings. Just like the Bookshare Reader for web, the settings will change in real time so the students can see the settings and determine if they're good for them. To return to the text of the book, they can select the X on the top right side of the heading. The book navigation feature is located on the left side of the footer and allows the student to navigate the book by chapter or page. They can select the chapter they want to read and the reader will bring them directly to that spot in the text. Finally, the text to speech play button is located in the center of the footer. This will allow the text to be read aloud to the student. And they also have the option to fast forward through the text or go backward in the text to reread. And Mrs. Juicio, one night my father came home from the office all excited. To return to the My Library page, click on the back arrow located on the left side of the header. Finally, the student can view their profile by selecting the profile icon on the bottom right side of the footer. The profile is where they can set their language preferences, see what version of the Bookshare Reader app they have, contact our customer support team, and log out of the app. That is our Bookshare Reader for mobile. Thank you.